Warning, content created by GFanatic94 is not intended for persons under the age of 13. You have been warned. That being said, have a great day and enjoy the video. Greetings, my fellow fanatics of the world. It is I, GFanatic94, back with another video for y'all today on Ark Survival Evolved. And, uh, yeah, guys, today we're gonna have sort of a fun day, sort of a boring day, but, uh, that's sort of the best day you could hope for on this game. So, uh, yeah, guys, today we are going to be doing some, uh, well, actually, I should probably explain some stuff first. Uh, our base, as you can see, is not here. And as you all know, in last week's video, we saw a level 145 uh, female Tyrannosaurus Rex, and she is literally over there, like just over the hill and whatnot, and, across, and a little bit across the lake. And needless to say, I was not too comfortable knowing that there was a monstrous, vicious, meat-eating beast that close to my uh, base and that close to my tames. So today, guys, uh, well, we are going to be going ahead and basically f uh, preparing to tame that T-Rex because that T-Rex is the perfect level for, uh, for my T-Rex I already have. Do you mind? Bitch, I said, do you mind? So yeah, as I was saying, we are going to be preparing to tame that T-Rex. Now, thing about taming that T-Rex is it's going to be an insanely difficult task because she's a high level and she's obviously going to take a bit to knock out as well as take a bit to tame up. That and... It's a fucking T-Rex. She's gonna be a vicious, monstrous bitch. Alright? She's gonna try to kill us every single time we so much as look in her general direction. Or mainly just because she feels like it. Or she got a little hungry. Because she's a fucking T-Rex. So, yeah, guys. Today, we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna prepare to tame this T-Rex. Uh, and when I say prepare... I mean that we're gonna have to obtain all the materials we need to tame the T-Rex and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, that would include enough narcotics to keep her asleep when she's, uh, unconscious. That would require a crossbow and trank arrows to knock her out. Plus, another, uh, weapon with, uh, tranquilizing materials that we will get into in a minute. And that will also require some security to keep the T-Rex from being uh, screwed with while she's asleep. So, boys, without further ado, uh, first off, we got some new items to show you. Um, I made two crossbows. And one of them holds trank arrows, while the other holds a grappling hook. And, uh, yeah, this thing is awesome. I made five grapples for it. But I only have two crossbows, so we're going to have to make them count. And, uh, yeah. So, the whole idea, it... Oh, yeah. The trank arrows are in this dude's inventory over here. So, yeah, guys. Um, we're going to be preparing to tame this T-Rex today. And, uh, and, yeah. In next week's episode, which I'm probably just going to go ahead and pre-record because... I got enough time today, and I may as well just go ahead and do it. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're gonna tame her in next week's episode, and hopefully everything goes according to plan. But before that, uh, we are going to relocate our temporary base. And sadly, we will not be able to take all of the dinosaurs to the temporary base immediately, but we will be able to soon enough. Now, first things first... Check this out. Alright, and firearms. The long neck rifle. We can make one of them. Is there anything else we need? We need more metal ingots. But, uh... Oh wait, actually we got more metal ingots. So yeah, guys. Uh, that is the deal with that. We're gonna go ahead and make two just to be safe. 
And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to gather up a bunch of materials today in order to go ahead and do this. But um, yeah, so we're gonna be able to get ready. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity today of uh, changing bases to just go ahead and start up with the redwood base because as you can see, metal tree platform right there. So yeah, we're heading to the uh, redwood biome today and hopefully everything goes to plan. With that being said, however, if things don't go according to plan, well then, uh, I'm, I'm shit out of luck. Alright bud, come on. Come on. Just make it on down there, then you can land. Gain all the stamina back you need. Then we can ditch this damn metal tree platform. And you'll be able to fly much more efficiently. Come on, you got this. You got this, buddy. But damn was that shit agonizing. Oh, you're kidding me! Red Wing, Red Wing, hurry up, gain your stamina, get your stamina back, like right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Okay, take off. Okay. <sighs> yeah, let's get to high ground, which, well, actually, we're going to create the high ground because we're making the base. All right, now, where were those trees? Where were they? Were they? Ah! Here they were. Yes! Here they were. Alright. Here we go. Alright, Red Wing. We're almost done. And we're almost safe. Wait, hold on. Should it go up there or should it go closer to the... Hmm. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go into first person for this. Tyranodon can fly around for a minute. Be better up there. Nah, no way, no way. We're we're putting it up there. Aha! Oh yes! Oh, I can fly! Oh, so beautiful! And the sun's coming up too. We have no more need for this uh, torch. But yeah, we got ourselves the metal tree platform up and running. Oh, this is awesome. And thankfully, oh yeah, we're way out of that carn, and we're way out of the Alpha Carnos reach. How you doing down there? How you doing? <gasps> You're kidding! Oh, oh, okay, okay. Technical difficulties. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh my God! My my Tyrannodon just tried to assassinate me. Oh my God! Oh my god, no. Absolutely not. Oh. Oh my god. My own dinosaur just tried to kill me. Oh, we're talking about that asshole. You just tried to get me killed. You, sir. Oh, you sadistic little shit face. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. All right, now you land. So you're trying to get me killed, eh? Oh, you're... Ooh, ooh, you sadistic bastard. Oh, you can go screw yourself, bud. Like, seriously, you can go screw yourself. Oh, you piece of shit. That wasn't even cool. Alright, anyways. Alright, so we got a lot of this shit here. Um. Yeah, so, uh. That's that. What the hell is your problem? Huh, bird brain? And there we go. We got those set up. And now, for the time being, let's just go ahead and let's plop all the taming materials in here for now. 
and uh, yeah, holding on to my guns. Um, yeah, actually, actually, that's not a bad idea. I think we're gonna use cooked meat uh, to tame the T-Rex tomorrow because I think it would be faster. That and I got plenty of it, so I'm not exactly missing out. All right then, we getting this ball rolling. All right, and yeah, just in case you guys are wondering why I want to make a new smithy instead of just use Red Wing, who his saddle is a smithy and he can walk around and fly. Well, yeah, it's useful, but Red Wing can only carry so much. Meanwhile, an actual smithy can hold probably eight times as much as Red Wing. Not saying that Red Wing's useless, actually far from it. Red Wing is the most badass creature I have. And it doesn't try to kill me behind my back. But, uh, yeah, every creature has its limitations. And sadly, Red Wing cannot uh, put up with that much weight on his back. So, yeah. Alright, sun is coming up. Oh, come on, lag spike. Come on, don't do this to me. Alright. We are making some progress. One small step for man. One giant leap for the fanatic army. Oh, that's what's up, boy. Let's keep going. Uh, that clearly got time. Alright. Well, in that case... Red Wing, I do believe it is time for us to go and attain another item. Maybe two. Don't know yet. Yes. The agony is almost finished. No, that's too low. Ah, yes. Ah, very nice, very nice. Yes, I do indeed approve. Excellence, excellence at its finest. Absolute magnificence. Yes, well everyone, I do believe that now, since we clearly have much time to wait, I do believe that now is the perfect time for a montage of building these items. Enjoy! Then you damn vagina with wings. I will forgive you for trying to assassinate me, but only if you come with me on this little journey and avoid trying to assassinate me again. Don't worry, this will be oh so much fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, right now I am currently taking you to a lake 
because honestly we got a bunch of time to kill and uh, yeah uh, I'm taking you guys to this lake where not a lot of sarcos spawn but normally whenever they do spawn here they're relatively high level and uh, yeah we're heading there now hopefully uh, it's just gonna be something to look at while we wait for the metal and all that stuff to finish cooking up and yeah actually we're almost there yep you can see the lake right there it opens up into the ocean and everything and it is the perfect location for a saltwater based crocodilian species oh shit I need stamina hold on alright here it is We have ourselves... Oh, well, what do you know? There's a Sarko right there. Hold up. Uh, wait, where'd it go? Ah, uh, he's only a level 8, small fry. Where's a high level then? Hmm. There's a low level right there, but there should be a high level around here, I think. Considering the last few times I've played. Oh. Is that one? Oh, that's two. Level eight. Level twelve. Well, where are all the high levels? There's, there's one right here. Oh, level eight. Oh! Oh, well, what do you know? Dudes, this male Sarko is a level 150, and it has some of the coolest colors I've ever seen on a Sarko. Ah. Yes, I do believe that is of great interest. You have great interest there, sir. And you shall be ours soon enough. And that one. Oh, level four, that's pathetic. Why are there so many Sarkos around here? Usually... Huh. Yeah, usually, like, a few high levels spawn around here, not like 50 low levels. Though to be fair, there is a level 150, the highest level in the game, or at least on this server, but... Still, just kind of odd. I wonder if there are any more Sarkos around here, with a high level at least. Hmm. Either way, the trip was worthwhile. Man, I don't even want to think about the amount of Sarkos that are too deep for me to see. Especially because of this rain. Either way, there's enough Sarkos around here. Alright, it's official. I am dubbing this lake Sarko Lake. The place where you go to die at the hands of large crocodiles. Yeah, they're everywhere around here. Alright, it's time to head back anyways, but it was actually kind of cool to see that. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, well, as you like this. We move out and automatically some squatters move into the neighborhood. One of them might be worth taming, but the other one's completely worthless. Anyways, let's check up on the wrecks. 
Just see where she's at. Alright. So let's land the Pteranodon. Right here. Keep him safe. Wait, did I... I don't have my grappling hook. So, actually, I can't keep him out of the danger zone. But either way, I'm not seeing the Rex anyway. Where the, where'd the damn Rex go? Well, where'd he go? Just gonna go back this way. Um, <laughs> you, you have some fun over there. <laughs> I'm starting to think it was a good idea to move my base because she's moving quite a bit now. Damn. Yeah, we're out of here. We, we checked up on her. She's doing fine. <laughs> I value my life. I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Aha, there we go. Oh, and we can make another Sarko saddle. Sweet. Alright, now. What do we need for a Rex saddle? Ooh. Damn it, I was hoping we didn't have to use metal. Oh, oh well. Small price to pay. Especially when we live so close to a damn mountain of the stuff. Alright, so... I got fiber. I need more fiber and hide. Fiber. More metal in there. Start cooking that on up. Alright. We are looking quite spiffy, I might say. Saddles. Still not enough metal. Okay. Fiber, fiber, hide. Got enough of those two materials. Not enough hide. Not enough hide. Alright. Uh, well, there's no hide in there. And there is no hide in here. Well, Red Wing, it's time for us to go kill some stuff. Let us be on our way. Is it just me, or did they change the recipe for a Rex saddle? Because I don't remember there needing to be metal in it. Oh well. It's fine. Alright. Metal. And we already got enough gunpowder for a while. Metal. Is that enough for a Rex saddle? Aha! There it is. Yeah, I don't remember there needing... Uh, there being metal in the T-Rex saddle recipe. And furthermore, I don't actually remember there needing that much hide. Uh, I don't actually remember requiring that much hide. But, oh well, it doesn't matter. We got Sarko saddles and a Rex saddle. And now, we are nowhere fucking near ready to go tame that Rex. Because... We're going to need a lot more narcotics and a lot more trank arrows and shit like that. But, I know you guys don't exactly want to see all that shit. So, uh, yeah. Here is a quick clip uh, at the end of the video that I'm going to record after this. Uh, of me naming all the dinosaurs and whatnot that we've gotten up to this point. And, uh, yeah. Then it's outro time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video and want to see more like it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Stay close to Jesus Christ, everybody, because that is probably the greatest idea that you could have in your life. I am not shitting you at all. So from the first episode, we have the Parasaurs and the Iguanodons. So the first two dinosaur names were suggested by Spag Hooter 0s, 
who simply stated, name one of the female Parasaurs Penny and the female Iguanodon Iggy. So, as such, I named the female Iguanodon Iggy, and as there was no preference on the female Parasaur, I named the higher level Parasaur Penny. So yeah, that's that. And sadly, no one decided to name these ones, or they just didn't get around to it in time, so it was up to me to name them myself. So, I chose Ricardo for the Iguanodon, no real reason. Chose Oraya for the f other female Parasaur, no real reason. And Duckmouth for the male Parasaur for comedic effect. So yeah. And next we have the creatures from episode 2. So for the first two dinosaurs, we have names commented by an individual who calls himself Warrior Cracker. Which is the third greatest name I've ever heard on YouTube, period. <laughs> that's just, that's fucking hilarious. But then, yeah, so this individual commented for one of the Pteranodons, Butterball Turkey. But, uh, yeah, for this poor guy here, I can't actually fit Turkey into the name because you can only put names that have 15 letters in them. So, yeah, I can't actually do Butterball Turkey, but I'll do Butterball. And, uh, also commented Feminist Rage for the female Triceratops. Okay. <laughs> I love my life. Oh, this, this is too funny. Okay, yeah, that was, that, was, that was a damn hilarious. Once again, sadly, the next two creatures were up to me to name. So I named the Pteranodon Baird, and I decided to name the Triceratops Fuckhead. Nah, just kidding, it's Mark. <laughs> 